being able to take it outside with, and that's part of the gyro system as well. Um, a lot of the smaller ones, and even some of the drones that I've played with, you can't take them outside. Right. They can't handle the wind. Ah, of course. So we can take off from anything at all. So basically, controls are, you know, we've got our power, and then this connects it to the drone. It sets it so that it knows, okay, right now I'm on a level playing field, and now I can take off, so, and then we can just go. Do our stunts or whatever we want to do. The really nice thing about it is the 15 minute recharge time. Yes, you can charge one in the same amount of time as it takes to fly one. So you've got the... Uh, so I mean the two pack thing with the charge one, fly one is a great thing. You're just because, constantly going. Because I mean the worst thing when you have kids is <laughs> a toy. Okay son, it's going to be yep. eight hours to charge and you're going to get to use it for 20 minutes. That's the other thing, yeah. And a lot of them will take two hours to charge. These ones don't, 15 yeah. minutes. Covered. Okay. And then what do we do? Go get it. Inspect it. Okay. Looks good. Resync. Take off. Nothing to it. Nice. <laughs> Until you can't see it anymore. <laughs> now it's on the ground. Is it yeah. I still got it, but I think my my uh, gyros are off, so I'm just going to resync it. Right. I'm not sure if it's upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. So I'll show you what's happened here. <laughs> Uh, I don't know all the details about his warehousing situation at this point, Jamie. Uh, well, I have lots of warehousing space yeah, if you ever yes, need you it do. in the central Canada. Yeah. So, see, when I hit up here, I warp one of the propellers here. Right. So all I have to do is just... Bend the back one. that, yeah. And, of course, in the kit, if all else fails, if I've gone and wrecked one of my propellers, it's okay because we do include a uh, set of four. Okay. So you've got the extra prop just in case. So if you do find that it's not flying very well anymore because you've bent a prop, that's fine. But they are easily malleable. Here this has come up. So just push that down. Snap it in. Yep. Good to keep flying. So it's as simple as that. And then uh, if I truly do wreck it up, then you can just pick up one of those uh, crash kits. The crash kits and fix it up yourself. Do a little bit of soldering if you want. But they're a boatload of fun. Just to I can tell you played with it a little bit. A little bit. It's I got to be able to represent the product, Jamie. Yes, I understand. I'll give it a go. Very nice. This is your acceler uh, accelerator. Okay. Uh, left and right pivot the uh, the drone. So blue is your blue light to your front, and I've I've broken one of the lights on this one because I've crashed it so many times. So basically, accelerator goes up and down or faster. Okay. And then this is your three dimensional controls. So good luck, man. Yeah, I'm gonna crash this. Watch your eyes. So you'll push up a little bit there and then use the right controls to move it forward. Now turn off the accelerator there. Yeah. There you go, your first crash. So 
So as you're going up, then use the right controller the to right move it forward, yeah. Now the right controller move forward a bit. Just a touch. <laughs> it must be further out because when I think I'm going forward, I'm going the other way. So up is forward. Right up. There you go. He's flying. <laughs> so it, it it takes so much. There you go. There's a good crash. <laughs> Really testing the durability here, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. So just give it a quick little inspection, make sure everything's in okay, and then turn off the remote so that you can recalibrate it because it's been spinning around, right? So it takes about uh, within, the, I'd say about a day, you're going to be flying it just just fine. I will say, after just zipping it like that. Yeah. The other drone, actually, I think Lionel has a sample right now, and it was going to be probably around $150 retail drone. Yeah. Um, this one seems easier to fly out already. Sure. And when you can, you know, be able to do these kinds of tricks within your first couple of days of, of working on it. The thing is, is it's getting your head around the 3D axis, eh? Because you're not, you're not working like a remote control car where it's up, down, left, right. Well, yeah, I mean, what You've I... You've got this full... Yeah, depending how it's sitting, I think I want to go that way with it, and I yes. push it, and it's coming at me instead if it's, of going yeah, away. Yeah, that's the most confusing, is if, it, if it's looking this way, your right is its left. Right. So, yeah. I take, said it's not like driving control. a remote control car. Yeah, exactly. So, there you have it. Cool.